Hi, it's John. It's the 30th of November 2016. And I write a little column in the magazine called Country Ways and been thinking about what I might write about next month, which would be January. And I'm going to write on the excitement of the cold snap. Now, this morning is a cold snap. Not, not, not what I'm talking about though, because a cold snap, I think it's about, yeah, about a week, a week when you don't get hardly above freezing. Whereas this is our first sort of real frost. I mean, we've had frosts, little frosts, but this is, this is a first real frost. Or as my nan used to call it, a frost. A real frost. This would be a frost where the milk got frozen. Oh, I've come out and I've found some pictures. Never done a shot like across here before. I love uh, the long shadows of the morning. And I've got the tripod with me again, so it makes things a bit easier. The old horse down there, he wants to get into the sunshine. Looks like he's waiting for his oats. Tried whistling at the horse to try and get look at me, but it won't. All it's interested in is a bit of food. I've been saying that trees can communicate with one another. So when you get that arch, like that, that dome of those trees, it's not just the wind, it's also because they, uh, they know what's going on. Interesting. I'm nearly out of battery now. I didn't charge it up. But uh, I used to have this idea that there are a lot of views out there. And it's just a matter of seeing them. And then I went off that idea and thought, oh no, there's not, there's not the views out there. You just have to keep travelling around to find, find uh, new views new, in new locations. But, uh, at this, morning, this morning, I have found some new views. Because I'm only at home. And I've never shot from these angles before. So, um, just goes to show, doesn't it? 